Hi everybody, Natasha Wilkinson, Independent Sensi Consultant, Mount Isa, Australia. Now we are mid-April, we are mid-month, so it is time to go through our two weeks of what I have been using in this household. As you can see, my warming box is pretty full. And this is after we've been away on four days holidays. So there were four days where I wasn't warming things, but I have still managed to fill up our box for the first two weeks of April. So let's dive into it, shall we? As usual, I'm going to start off with the non-wax packs. So I have used up the squeeze the day counter clean i love love our counter clean and squeeze the day would probably have to be my favorite scent that is available for purchase in the current catalog not my favorite scent of all time but what is currently available for purchase definitely my favorite scent it is a bright sweet lemonade type flavor you get the bright zestiness of the lemons followed through by a creamy vanilla which just sweetens it up i also love the wax in this this is becoming my go-to citrus scent for cleaning and when i just want to freshen up the house and we all know I'm not the biggest fan of citrus scents but squeeze the day is one I would happily purchase over and over again okay so I finished up the scent soft in jammy time that went to the laundry liquid and the washer whips that you saw in my last what I have been warming segment which was roughly two weeks ago so not long after I filmed that I ended up finishing off that jammy time scent so this is the scent I tend to go to for my bedding and sheets and the kids bedding and sheets it's just a beautiful soft lavender with a slight floral hint to it lavender sweet pea and freesia i believe are the scent notes i finished off the scentsy fresh that i think i got in the whiff box about two maybe three months ago but our scentsy fresh is fantastic i spritz it on our mattress and our sheets between bed mate and I spritz it on our curtains just to add a bit of a freshness. It's great for lounges, great for the type of product that you aren't rushing every day when you want to freshen it up. We have a house full of cats and this just kind of helps freshen up the house when it comes to that. This was clothesline flavor not flavoured because we don't eat it it was closed line scented and it's not normally a scent I would probably choose to pick up myself when I buy Scentsy Fresh I tend to buy Amazon grain but I did quite enjoy this and that's the brilliant thing about a whiff box you will get items you may not particularly pick up yourself or a particular scent of an item that you may not have thought to try yourself and I actually did enjoy this scent a lot more than I thought I would it's a clean crisp laundry scent the Scentsy Fresh does have a little bit of a sweetness about it when I smell the wax tester in this I get more of the clean crisp laundry so I haven't tried that particular wax yet it's on my this as we know one of my 
goals this season is to go through and actually try all the different scents, so to say, that are in our catalogue because I tend to stick to the same scents and I tend to stick to my Scentsy Club scents, but I do want to try the scents particularly before they decide to retire some so I'm not stuck with chucking a big wad in my Scentsy Club because I haven't tried it and don't know whether I would like it or not. But as I said, although this is not a scent I would probably pick up or think to pick up on my own because to me it is a very clean, crisp laundry and I do like a bit of sweetness. I did enjoy this, but saying that I do use the Scentsy Fresh all the time, just normally a different scent. I'm actually thinking of now I've finished this trying lavender cotton, breaking away from Amazon rain and just trying something a little bit different. So I finished up a dish soap in Perfect Peppermint. This was from our Christmas collection and then it came into the clearance section. So I picked up a few more in the clearance section and I really enjoyed this one. It is a sweet peppermint and when I smell it I kind of get a little bit of a chocolate note. There is no chocolate note in the description but it kind of reminds me a bit of a peppermint cream or something and I do really enjoy this. I picked up I think one or two of these and the counter clean counterparts in the clearance section when it came back from the clearance section. So my light globe blue in the salt lamp. So I replaced it with another 25 watt light globe. Stitch experiment scent pack went into the little stitch buddy that you can see up behind me. So he came with the stitch experiment pack and that went into the scent buddy. So I put Summer Holiday Car Bar which I picked up in a flash sale in the car. So, they were non-wax items besides the pods, so let's talk about the pods. Now, this was Eskimo Kiss, two pods. This was in the wall fan diffuser in the bathroom. These have been, they started off in the Scentsy Go in the toilet, then I moved them into the bathroom in the wall fan diffuser. And they have been in there for about a month, been used for about a month, no longer spreading the scent through the fan diffuser system, but there is still a little slight scent left, so they will get thrown into my clothes drawers just to live out the rest of the day, but they are pretty much gone. Also, another one that's gone, this was in my mini fan diffuser for my laptop and that was the Berry Bellest one from the Valentine's collection. This lasted about a month or two before it lost its scent. So our pods are really good and last long. They just don't throw as far as your wax or your warmer systems but they're great for high traffic areas, smaller areas like cars and hallways and bathrooms so they're great for that type of thing. So the car and my laptop in the mini fan diffuser has one each of iridescent pearl so our car has an iridescent pearl in the mini fan diffuser slate one in our car and I have the other iridescent pearl attached to my laptop in my rose gold one. This is definitely a stronger performer than the wax. I do find the wax in iridescent pearl quite a light performer 
when it comes to scent. I need to warm it in my smaller areas like my bathroom and my laundry or my daughter's room to actually get a scent throw from Iridescent Pearl. I do get a scent throw. I have heard reviews where some people get no scent throw from Iridescent Pearl. So I am lucky that I do have smaller areas and enough warmers that I can actually enjoy that wax in a smaller area and get that really nice scent throw. It's just not very strong. But the pods are brilliant performer in that scent and quite strong. So I do find sometimes if a wax might be on the lighter side to try and if you can get it in a pod, try it in the pod because sometimes they tend to be a bit stronger. So I currently have iridescent pearl, as I said, going in our car and in my laptop. So in my Sensi Go, in my bathroom, I popped in sugared strawberry to take away when we went on our holidays, so we still had some scent. It's now in the toilet, the Sensi Go. But this was from our Easter collection, and it's quite a nice sugary strawberry scent, hence the name sugared strawberry. But it does have a slight brightness in the background which would be from that lemon description that's also given in this scent. I would really really love it if they actually brought the scent to us in a wax bar here in Australia. I do know other regions do have this scent in wax bars. We just can't get it here in Australia because I would really love to try this particular scent in the wax bar because I am quite enjoying it. And the replacement pods that I popped into my mini wall fan diffuser was pink cotton. This is a lovely, fresh, clean, but sweet scent at the same time. I love the wax of this and I really am enjoying the pods. I actually brought my mini fan diffuser with us when we went away and popped it in the bathroom there in the hotel. And you'd walk into that hotel room and that bathroom, you could just smell the sweet, clean berry flavour. That one fan diffuser plug-in filled up that bathroom in the hotel room really nicely with this scent. This is also a strong performer in pods and really, really pretty. So, they are the pods. Now, we have our wax to go through. So, let's start with what I warmed in our open concept lounge room area. So, firstly, I put in the open concept lounge room area two full bars of our April Scent of the Month Plumeria Peach. On cold sniff, it to me it's just a generic peach scent with a little bit of floral. I didn't think much about it. I thought pretty, but I wasn't going to be in love with it. My opinion changed when I warmed it. You got this really soft, pretty, perfumey peach, and it filled the open concept room quite well. I thought. It might get a little bit lost in my open concept area, but it didn't. It filled it quite well, and I really, really enjoyed it. Plumeria Peach is now in my sense of club with how much I enjoyed it. So I found it lasted about two days before it fizzled out. So it didn't last long, but while it was going, it was soft, it was pretty, I could really see it performing even better in a place like a bedroom that was slightly smaller. But I still got decent performance from it in the open concept as well. And it was fruity and soft and perfumey with just the right combination of the floral with the fruit. Definitely could smell the peach and I loved it. So... 
what I did then after those two days because I was still enjoying it and I still didn't want to quite say goodbye to Camaria Peach after watching a review of Lisa Roberry where she suggested to do a mixture in one of her bars to jars mixes she suggested to mix Plumeria peach and hibiscus water so I then broke into my third bar of Plumeria peach with a bar of one of my hibiscus water I get two of these every three months Hibiscus Water was a scent that came out in a summer collection called Good Vibes last year. And it's an aquatic, sweet, free floral. More aquatic, but then it has this slight fruity floral note in the background. And it is one that I... Don't see me deleting out of Sensi Club any too, anytime soon. I may reduce it to one instead of two every three months, depending on my stash, or that's what I keep thinking I'm going to do. But then by the time that three month period rolls around, I find I've used this up. So I do reach for it quite often. I just don't realize how much I reach for it particularly in the summertime and I don't think I necessarily reach for it by itself I'm always using it in a mix with something else which is what I did in this case and this was a really pretty combo it brought out the fruitiness that was in hibiscus water and gave it like this really tropical summery vibe and I really really enjoyed it. I tend to also mix hibiscus water with our tropically fruity notes. I've mixed it with cocoa lime, that's one I really really love. I've mixed it with Luna. So I do tend to kind of use it as a mixture with other kind of tropical notes to bring out other notes with it. But it is pretty on its own and I have used it on its own before but I just find in the last few months I'm reaching for it to add as a mixture and to enhance another scent. So that combo was really brilliant. As you can see I must have liked Primary Peach because I've worn through three on my own and none of these were used as samples. They were just for my own personal use these three bars so well worth it this is this current scent of the month and it is beautiful so what else do I do in the open concept area so I did a combination of I was in a floral mood after going through all of those primary peaches. It was still quite warm. So I did a combination of Beach Daisy, which is a bring back my bar that we had last year sometime. And then the following bring back by bar, we had Apple Crush Come. So they're two separate occasions of Bring Back My Bar. Beach Daisy is in my Scentsy Club. I picked up a few of these in our Bring Back My Bar special recently. And Beach Daisy, I've heard a few consultants talk about smelling colour. To me, Beach Daisy is one of those scents where I smell the colour yellow. And I do get where they talk about smelling colour. It's a bright floral, slightly sweet. I don't find it powdery. So if you don't like powdery 
sense it's not powdery. I don't find it powdery in my opinion. It's more of a bright, happy, cheerful floral. And then it has a fruity note in the background. The fruity note is actually apples, which is why, or apple blossom, which is why I chose to use Apple Crush because I wanted to bring out more of the apple in this combo and have that just brightness seen in the background. This was another beautiful combo. Now, in the description of Apple Crush, they give the words a punch, one or two a punch, a three a punch of green apple, basically is the description. And this is one of those cases where I can resonate with that description. It smells like an apple from the top to the bottom as you're slowly peeling it and eating it. When you first smell it, you get that apple peel as if it's being peeled away with that slight powdery note of the apple. And then as it warms, you smell that juiciness as if you've bitten through it and you get that tart, sweet juiciness. So it's basically like you're going through the steps of eating an apple when you smell this. And this is another one of those scents that I find comes in strong, particularly in smaller rooms, maybe not so much in open concept rooms, but you can really smell it when you start off to warm in it. And then just as sudden as it comes in strong, it fizzles out. But this combination together was really pretty. That was Beach Daisy and Apple Crush. These scents are no longer available. As I said, Beach Daisy is one I had in my Scentsy Club and Apple Crush was one I had a few on the handle. So, the next thing I warmed in the open concept area was Jade and Jasmine. This was a scent of the month from January and I'm normally not a big cologne type fan. This is quite a strong scent but this is one I do enjoy but it is also one I have to be in the mood to enjoy. It's a rich cologne manly type scent to me. I think if you like Mystery Man you would have liked this. I don't think it's available anymore to purchase. Maybe available to still put in Sensi Club. I haven't checked that. But this was our scent of the month from January. I still had a few floaters around at this. And as I said, it's one I actually have to be in the mood warm. It is quite strong, lasts quite a while. And I just was in the mood just before we left on our holiday to warm this and just kind of clear the house. But a very perfumey, cologne type manly scent, Jade and Jasmine. So the last thing I, which I currently have going today in our open concept area is I came back from holidays, we've been away for four or five days, I needed to clear the house of the cat smells because obviously the cats were locked up, we've had someone come in to feed them, so I just wanted to freshen the house up and clear the house up. So I chose to do a combination of Be Fabulous, which is currently in our catalogue, and Monsters Inc., which I think is currently in our clearance section. Now, Be Fabulous is a bright limoncello grapefruit scent, and this is another scent where I'm not mad about it being citrus. It is bright, it is effervescent, it is fun, it is summery, it is sweet at the same time. So it's just something that freshens up the place, clears up the place 
and is really nice. Monsters Inc. is slightly sweeter. I believe it has notes of mandarin, watermelon. I can't remember the rest of the notes, but I do believe there is mandolin and watermelon in it. If I grab my phone, I might be able to pull up the rest of the notes of Monsters Inc. But with Monsters Inc. and The Fabulous, and there is another one called We're All Mad Here, which was an Alice in Wonderland inspired scent, there has been lots of comparison between the three of them and how similar they are and I actually did a video myself comparing them and my thoughts earlier on but they are, do have their similarities they do have their differences to me I do find Monsters Inc more sweeter with Be Fabulous I find it's definitely more citrusy just as bright as Be Fabulous. It comes in fast, it's strong, it's brilliant for the open concept area, but then it fizzles out just as quick and is gone. With Monsters Inc, I find it's not as strong in its scent. It performs really well by itself in my son's room, and even though it's not as strong in its scent, it doesn't fizzle out once its life is done. I can turn the warmers off and I can still smell Monsters Inc. lingering in my son's room. So, Monsters Inc. is a monster dose of mandarin, watermelon, pineapple and lush palms. So that pineapple, watermelon, lush palms adds a sweetness to the citrus mandarin note and grapefruit and mandarin go quite well together. So I decided to do in alternating warmers in the open concept area, a mixture of Be Fabulous, which I normally do in my open concept area and those works well. Monsters Inc. I normally do in the boys' room because, as I said, it has that sweet smell and it lingers. So being a boys' room, the fact that it lingers, it will cover up boy odour. But I hadn't tried Monsters Inc. in the open concept area before. So... I did in alternating warmers a mixture of these two and the combo is really pretty that mandarin and that grapefruit complement each other and it's bright it's zesty with a little bit of sweetness so that's what I've been warming in the open concept area let's move on to the main bedroom so I used up my last strawberry rose, but I'm not sad because I can still purchase more in the catalogue, but this is my last one from when I basically had it in my Scentsy Club, which I took out when I realised it was coming back into the catalogue, and I have found in this, what I have been warming segment, that there are a few scents in here from the catalogue that I have finished off that were in my Sensi Club that I took out of my Sensi Club because they're now in the catalogue. So I should be ready to do a purchase soon of some of those bars that I use continuously. I know I finished off the last of my Be Fabulous. That was originally another Sensi Club fragrance for me, but when it came into my catalogue, I took it out of the catalogue to make room for other Scentsy Club scents because I could purchase it anytime in the catalogue so I am about due to make a another purchase just haven't got around to it yet but Simply Rose is one of my all-time favourite scents it's sweet it's fruity it's like you've picked some strawberries off the vine and in the background you can smell this very slight floral scent. The rose isn't overpowering at all and it works in my bedroom, it works in my open concept area and it lasts. It lasts about three days, probably four if I'd let it, but I tend to change my wax out 
So I'm usually in the mood for something else after day two or three anyway. But if I were to only have a few scents that I were to choose from, Strawberry Rose would be at the top of my list. It's one of my all-time favourites. It would probably compete with Arctic Kiss. Arctic Kiss and Strawberry Rose are ones I am going to never, ever want to be without. So, also in the open concept area, I warmed a love story. This is Jasmine and Dark Chocolate. It is soft. It is sweet. It is romantic. You can smell the dark chocolate, but it's not an indulgency chocolate. It is more just a dark, moody, adds a dark, moody note to it, giving like a romantic vibe. And then you get the sweetness of the jasmine petals. This is one that I have come every three months. I have two of them come every three months in my Sensi Club. It was a bring back my bar. And it is one I love to warm in the main bedroom. Just sets a romantic, soft, sweet note. And it is one I will never be without. It follows closely behind Strawberry Rose and Arctic Rose, Arctic Kiss. And also in the main bedroom, I used that Angel Experiment 624, which is a returning limited time offer to our scent from our Lilo and Stitch collection. First time me trying it and me warming it. Now in my Scentsy Club. It is like a sweet berry milkshake. You get the sweetness of the berries and then you get the creaminess of like a milkshake to it. So it is like this creamy, dreamy vibe to it. It is really, really pretty. I can see myself continuing to warm it in the main bedroom, but I can also see it going in my daughter's room as well. And I found in those rooms it lasted a few days. I don't know how well it would hold up to an open concept area. Haven't tried it in an open concept area, but works really well in the smaller rooms and it's sweet and creamy and gorgeous. Love, love this one and I'm never going to be without it. It is staying in my sense of love. So that was the main bedroom. Let's move on to my daughter's room. So in my daughter's room I tried for the first time 100 acre woods. Now when I tried the testers I couldn't smell anything and I was disappointed which turned me off actually purchasing this bar for a long time because when I read the sentence notes it sounds like everything I would want but as I said my aim going forward was to try bars I had never tried and I'm glad I did because if this retires it's going in my sensory club it's not a strong scent, it is quite light, so it wouldn't go in an open concept area. But it is described as, grab your favourite hand and wander through a friendly forest, swirling with cotton blossoms, jasmine and wild sweet vanilla. Now, it's a soft, clean scent that you get with the sweetness in the back note. It is really soft. But it's like you've done a load of washing and you've opened the windows to air that washing. So you get that really clean cotton note drifting through. And as you've opened the windows, you can smell the breeze and the flowers on the breeze wafting through, adding just a touch of sweetness. Very pretty for a smaller child's room. And my one-year-old shares the room with my daughter, which is why I put it in there. On cold smell, I kind of also get a bit of a lavender vibe, even though there's no lavender in it. And I am kind of tempted with my next bar that I have ordered and is coming of this to maybe throw in a lavender scent. 
I have four bars left of Pazzi Blanca, which not bars, I have four cubes left from a bar of Pazzi Blanca, so I'm kind of tempted to take one of those four cubes and pour it in of Pazzi Blanca next time and kind of just throw it in with this, maybe half a cube to two cubes of this so it doesn't overpower the beautiful, soft, clean, sweet scent of this but adds that bit of lavender calming note. But if this ever retires, it's going in my sensory cup. As I said, because it's so soft and so light, you can't smell it in the tester. You definitely need to get the bar of 100 Acre Woods to actually get what this smells like. It is beautiful. Also, in my daughter's room, I did four cubes to start off with of Totally Mini. She has two warmers, so two cubes to each warmer. Never tried this scent before. It's sweet and fruity, not overly strong, but it was very pretty for her room. Not Scentsy Club worthy in my opinion. If it left, I think I could find something comparable, but it's very pretty. Definitely would purchase another one though. And while it's available, will it enjoy it? I just don't think it would be one if it ever retired that I would whack into my Scentsy Club. But really pretty for her room. And then what I did with the last four cubes, which is currently going now, I did a mix up with two of the cubes of Moana Spirit of Motanui. I've still got two cubes left to use of this. This is not my favourite scent. A lot of people love this scent and I can see why, but to me, it is too green. It is very reminiscent of aloe water and ivy. So if you like aloe water and ivy, aloe vera and ivy, sorry, not aloe water and ivy. If you liked aloe vera and ivy, which was the scent of the month last year, you would like this. But I just don't find there is enough sweetness to this. And I was not a fan of aloe vera and ivy, which is probably why I'm not the biggest fan of this. It is very watery to me it's got that scent and the same scent i pick up in aloe vera and ivy of a watermelon that you've cut open that's not quite ripe doesn't have that sweetness about it so i did two cubes because this is quite a lighter scent compared to moana to one cube of this which is why I've only used up two from the half a bar I had already previously used up. Still have two cubes to go. And it actually did sweeten it out. And it is quite a pretty combo. I think I might be picking up a watermelon and tangerine maybe to try the mixture with that to bring out the melon. But this did bring out more of that floral note that was in this and was quite a pretty combination. I did enjoy this combination. Neither of them, as I said, are Sensi Club worthy and I don't know if I would pick up another bar of this again. If I found a mixture that I really, really loved, I might just for that mixture, but this was one that I was not the biggest fan of personally. And I know I'm probably going to shock a few of you saying that, but every nose is different every scent is different and as I said a lot of people really really love this scent just not one for me and in the boys room they didn't get much of a say in the bars this week they tend to have got neglected and a combination of the laundry and bathroom I warmed up the stitch experiment bar this is an aquatic fruity scent, very pretty, enjoyed. I found this to be on the lighter side though, compared to Angel I found that to be stronger. I don't think this would hold up in my open concept area at all, but it was perfect for the boys room, it was perfect for the bathroom, it was perfect for the laundry and I do enjoy it. It is in my Scentsy Club. I don't know if it will stay in there permanently, but 
it is going to stay in there for me to grab a few more bars because it is like a tropical aquatic getaway and I do enjoy it so while I'm enjoying it it will stay in my Scentsy Club specifically for those rooms and the last thing that I warmed was one of my broken testers which came in what I call my junk box where I have cubes if I've had like one or two cubes of a bar left over I'll throw in there or if I have broken testers or or scent things I get in the um, scent testers I get in the whiff box so leftover things that I haven't got around to warming I pulled out a sunny apricot because my aim is to try and get that down too so it's not overflowing because I've kind of left them for a while and I kind of want to get rid of those extras so a warm tester of sunny apricot I found it quite a light scent you did get a very fruity apricot note but I don't think it was enough in this tester to get a big enough idea of what it would really smell like but as you can see the tester lid was broken the tester was broken so I had to kind of get rid of it so I just popped that in the mini warmer in the bathroom and I got an apricotty fruity note from it is the best I can describe that so that is what I have been warming the last two weeks so to say now we will quickly delve into before I finish this video the oils I have been diffusing so I'm going to start with the two that you probably haven't heard me review the other three you've probably heard me review time and time again as they are my staple go-to's but currently I have going with the the Fabulous Monsters Ink concoction in the open concept room the diffusers are going with grapefruit and blood orange not one I would normally probably choose myself to warm but it or diffuse I should say but it is complementing quite well with this particular scent it is bright it is zesty and quite uplifting in my opinion which is probably why it is in the uplifting section of the oils so it is described as paradise found tropical zesty lime plays with pink pink grapefruit and blood orange so i definitely get the grapefruit when i smell this and maybe the sweetness of the blood orange I don't know that I am smelling the lime in this the other one I did quite enjoy was when I was warming Jade and Jasmine from the scent of the month I decided to diffuse white tea and jasmine and this is in the calming section and it is described as long revered for its romantic leanings jasmine sets a central mood with lemongrass mandarin and bergamot slightly grown the edges so it is not overly floral because it does have that zesty note from the citrus in it which is the lemongrass mandarin and then that bergamot softens it down again but it was really pretty combo with jasmine and white tea and i would probably purchase a full one of this oil because i did enjoy it more than i expected to so the other ones which you already know i have a full oil of is cactus pear i'm just using that little ones this is fruity it is very summery 
combination of the sweetness from that pear and then you get the summeriness from the cactus and the apple. Perfect summer scent and one I tend to reach for a lot in the hot summery days. Another one I reach for constantly for the bedroom rosewood and vanilla i have a full one of this actually coming in scentsy club soon and another one i reach for for the bedroom caramel uh, caramel vanilla strawberry and that is again like that milk shaky sweet strawberry scent so they are the oils that i was diffusing so that brings me to the end of what I have been using these last two months. I hope you enjoyed my little go around. I have been battling for 45 minutes now, so I'm going to go. I hope you are all being safe, and I will talk to you later. If you liked this video, please hit like or subscribe. It would greatly help me out, and don't hesitate to contact me if you have any questions. Bye for now.